Hello everybody and welcome back to Shamrock Valley. Now I've been looking forward to this episode. It is going to be the first episode where I've used the Case Autonomous Tractor by Simulagri. It's going to be interesting. So first of all, because we have farmed this field quite a bit, I'm actually going to sell phone number three. We used this field, we own this field I should probably say, in the FS17 series and in the 19 series. So I would prefer to go to a field which I haven't actually owned before. So we already have two fields which are pre-drilled, so I'm definitely going to be buying field 37, not too sure about the other one, um, but this one is £76,000, so there we go, we'll buy that, and we can now drill it with the autonomous tractor, but because of course it is autonomous, we are going to have to transport it to the field, I can't really just jump into it and drive it to the field, so to begin with, we need the truck, that will do nicely, now I do actually have the Tatra, because of the other one uh, not really being too compatible with the uh, more realistic vehicle mod because before uh, it did have very light steering but because of that light steering with the mod it just slides everywhere so this is going to be a little bit better than the uh, the, the Renault uh, truck but yeah the other one was quite good it's just that was the only thing which let it down the relatively light steering anyway yep here we are this is where we're going to be picking it up from I'm not buying it, I'm just going to be leasing it, it's going to be drilling the field. This is it. Now I've never really looked into the world of autonomous tractors that much, so it's all a very interesting concept. Uh, let's hope that it's all going to work successfully in the future. In the UK though, I honestly can't see it happening. It's just too tight, to put it simply, except for a couple of counties where the fields are quite big. Everything is tight. But that is 450 horsepower, autonomous power, and yeah, it's the Case IH Magnum. So without any further ado, let's get it onto the trailer, we'll take it down to the field, and then we'll, uh, we'll get the drill all set up, ready to go. Wow, <laughs> that is uh, quite something. So I think this new field of ours is actually just one on from the field which was the soybean field. Field number, well basically that very small one, 17. I know I didn't give you long to look at that, but yeah, field number 17 just beyond it. So it will all become very clear in a second. But yeah, how would this work in real life in a country where the fields are tight? I really don't know. Um, I would love to see it happen, but um, yeah, I <laughs> I just don't know. I think, to be honest, I, I'm much more interested in tractors which run off renewable fuel rather than just driverless tractors, but um, actually, this is diesel, is it? I don't know. I really know nothing about them. Okay, so with these bends, sometimes it can be very tricky to get this round here. Not too bad. Um, yeah, so um, Sandy Bay, absolutely looking forward to it. I know that loads of other viewers are as well. It is just really uh, the most, well, one of the most amazing maps ever. So I think that's why everybody is so excited. I'm guessing the majority of uh, my viewers are. Not everybody, I suppose. Uh, you could never please everybody, but yeah, I know there is a lot of people who are absolutely desperate for it to be released. And I'm sure it doesn't take too much working out to uh, realise that I'm absolutely desperate for it as well. But um, I fully appreciate that Oxygen David is finishing it off and it can't be rushed or anything, so brilliant. I didn't realise there was a little crossing here. Well, anyway, there we go. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to bring the drill across here. It's not going to be too much of a job. Obviously, it's going to be on um, course play because I can't drive it. It's not to be driven by a human. There we go. So, yeah, we'll get the, uh, the course play on the go and we can fully appreciate this in action. I do still have a bit of 
uh, bailing left to do and I've also got some uh, work to do over in film number two because it was cut in the previous episode if you watch the previous episode basically I cut every single field that we have whether it was harvesting a crop or mowing the grass yes every single field so we've done quite well out of it because it means that the sheep and the pigs are now pretty happy especially the pigs but yeah the sheep have also got their grass which always makes them happy it just has to be collected up and given to them. I might actually use a loading wagon or I might use a forager with a pickup and throw it into a trailer. But yep, yeah, that's good. That is absolutely full of seed with the exception of 5%. Let's just change the crop type. What should we do? I think if we do canola. Yeah, that could be a good one. There we go. And now all that needs to happen is the uh, autonomous tractor removes itself from the trailer, connects up and then does its thing. That is the course which it has and it shouldn't really take too long at all. So we'll see how much time it has remaining on that and then that will be the field completed. Here we go. Our very first autonomous tractor in FS. At least I don't think there's been another one. Brilliant. It, it just makes course play even better. How much time? Nine minutes. Nine and a half minutes. <laughs> yeah, less than a ten minute job. I could have done it myself, but it would just be a shame not to use this as an opportunity to fully see this tractor in operation. So yeah, 450 horsepower. We well, can definitely do it. Impressive stuff. Very impressive. Yeah, I'm guessing it is diesel. Pretty sure it's add blue. At least it's a, it's a blue filler cap and it's also got the black filler cap, so they must be diesel. But, like I say, I know nothing about them, so if anybody else knows more about them, please do comment down below, maybe even start a discussion. And here is it in action on the minimap, doing a very good job. It's all easy downhill. So I can leave it to it, although I don't have to. Um, this is going to need a bit of fertiliser, so I'll probably spray the field straight away. Let's just very quickly take a look at the fertilising map. Yeah, no fertiliser, so yeah, that's what I'll do. I will grab the John Deere. We do have that very expensive sprayer. Uh, it's currently loaded with herbicide, but I might have a bit of fertiliser somewhere. Do I? Probably not, actually. Uh, well, in that case, we'll head up to the store pick up some liquid fertilizer and probably by then it'll have almost finished the field that's my IBC yeah I need to get this bale definitely I do have the conventional bale so that'll probably work best on the McCormick I would imagine of course 3,200 pounds for one IBC of liquid fertilizer but hopefully that's going to fill it Either way, it will definitely be enough for the field. 20%. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. Like I say, it should be enough for the field. So that's fine. I was actually uh, looking back on my channel as well to see when I started playing various maps and I saw the Shamrock Valley one. I feel like I've only been doing it since about the 20th of December or something, but actually it was something like the middle of November. It's amazing how time flies, it really is quite scary. Um, it feels like just a few days ago that I started the Let's Play on here. It's going to be a bit rough through here. I don't actually number the episodes for this series, which I kind of regret. In the future, all of my series will have episode numbers. But I think we're on like episode 25 or something at least. It's amazing. I feel like I've done about four episodes or something. Uh, anyway, yep, the field is uh, almost ready for us. I was told by a viewer that if I was to change the wheels on this, it wouldn't actually do the bouncing around. So I probably should do that. 
also I'm in the trees. What a sight. It just looks so strange seeing a, a tractor without a real person in it. Scary, really. It looks pretty good, though. It's not a bad looking machine. Take a bit of getting used to, though, to see a tractor without a cab. I know that you can get tractors without cabs, but usually the bigger ones, like 450 horsepower, mostly have cabs. Okay, so. Actually, it's not really ready for us. If I just leave it to it for a little bit longer, I will sort out the windrower. Get this folded up. It's already starting to regrow. But yeah, it needs to be rowed up so that in the future we can just very simply come in here with the forager or with a loading wagon and just get it all swept up and taken over to the sheep. Because the sheep can never really have too much grass. It's not not really possible. We have so many of them. So this can go probably in the new placeable yard. I look forward to using that wheel loader again too because it's really decent. Right, okay, there we go. Drop the front mower off and take the back one off. For anybody who missed the previous episode, this tractor was new in the previous episode. It did replace the 800 series because the other one just wasn't quite powerful enough to run the mower on a field, well, quite a steep field to put it simply. Any field with a steep slope in it was a bit of a challenge. Okay, so what do we have in the way of windrows? Do I lease them or do I, do I own one? This is the issue with running too many series. I do have too many on the go. It has to be said. Yep, I do own one. That's pretty good. The Laylee. So we'll go and pick that up. And then we'll go and row the two fields. I actually do have two fields. Uh, one of them you can't really call a proper field because it is so muddy and so small. But I'm using the grass from it anyway, which is probably a mistake, but anyway, it means that we get stuck in the mud and have a bit of fun. There it is. So yeah, this uh, small one is really quite painful to do with such a large windrower, but there's not really an alternative. If I'm going to go and cut it, I have to row it up, so here we go. It only takes a few seconds, but even so. So yeah, um, I said I wasn't going to mention the steering wheel again, but in the previous episode I did have somebody say that the new one was even louder. So it kind of puts me in this position now which is like, is that a good thing, is that a bad thing? Would you prefer to hear the squeak or would you prefer to hear noisy gears? Or do you really not care? Because I know that many of my viewers couldn't care less. Um, so I don't know, I don't want to keep going about it. I mean, I could return the wheel and get another one, a different brand, but I don't know. It's like an endless story. It's getting quite painful. I know that somebody will be asking uh, which wheel I currently have. This is the Thrustmaster 150 Pro or something. I really don't follow them too closely. From what I've heard, the Logitech G920 is the one to go for. Oh, the G29. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I really don't know. That's that done. Very, very quick and messy job because of the way it is. But I can get it bailed up, no problem at all. I'll get it picked up with a loading wagon. Let's go over to the big field and get that done. And then the worker will have finished by then. Definitely. We'll probably finish this episode by bailing the straw. Um, because I think that is probably going to be the only thing I bail. Picking up the grass with a loading wagon is my preferred approach. It's all easier and faster.
What is going on? Is it just me? <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, I've used this thing so many times before and I've never had a problem. And now it seems to be just leaving grass behind. It's making a double swath. I don't understand it. It's just like completely ignoring some of the grass and just dumping it. That is weird. That is weird. Okay, well, if anybody else experienced a glitch with this Windrow, please do let me know as well. It's not my day. Um, that is strange, because I have used it before loads of times, and I've never, ever experienced an issue. Is it one of those things where if you restart the game, it's all perfect? Because it's definitely not perfect now. Blimey. Well... Okay, I'm going to uh, just quickly finish off as much as I can, but I can see myself redoing this in the future. Because that is messy. The autonomous tractor is finished. It's like... The, like one of the rakes is just floating or something and just going over it all. I really don't know. That is messy. Right, well, I'll turn it off there. I'll have to try and get to the bottom of that. But yes, there it is. All done. At least this tractor's done a good job. Turn that off there. And we'll jump into the John Deere sprayer. Get some fertilizer applied. And no, that wasn't me driving. It was just a miraculous camera view. Right, here we go. Bit of liquid fertilizer. Just what I need straight after drilling. Should get it going. So yeah, um so our role play continuing Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Many of you will be pleased to hear. I think I'm definitely going to be keeping the Friday slot. At one point I did consider not doing one on Friday. But it just works. It really does fit in well. Uh, because the episodes are only about 20 minutes long anyway, so if I was to drop one it would only be 40 minutes a week. Which isn't really enough. I prefer to have three a week and have them 20 minutes long than have two a week and have them half an hour to 40 minutes long. Because I, I think really the length is just right. I don't want them to be too long. Because it's a slowly progressing storyline. There we go. Good. So that is a nice field. No issues with that. And we'll finish off by uh, doing the bailing. So that's with this tractor here. Yes, I've no idea how many bales we're actually going to produce, because they are conventional bales, they are going to be coming out fairly quickly, and the field was fertilised. I put slurry down, so yes, I can imagine there's going to be quite a few. But it's fine, because even if there are hundreds, which there won't be, we're so close to the yard, but we're literally in the yard, it doesn't matter, because we've got nowhere, no transportation, time or anything. Which is literally right next door. And there's only three swaths. Which might be a problem in itself because of the width of them. It's only a small conventional baler. It's a good tractor this. I think it's actually based on the uh, Star Attractor. But it looks good. Branded as a McCormick. There's not really enough McCormicks about in FS. And there's no Kubotas. I've never understood why there's no Kubotas. Um, I thought they were like a really big brand, a really popular brand, but certainly in the farming simulator world, there's, uh, there's none, I don't think. None at all. There's no Izekis either, actually. And there's no Mahindras. But they're very small tractors um, so there is the Mahindra buggy but uh, yeah 
no tractors. Right, so far, not many bales. Uh, but the, w the width of it, not a problem. No problem at all. Do I have... I do. I've got the variable bale capacity mod installed, which means there's 1500 litres per bale, which is a substantial amount for a conventional bale. But I guess that makes it easier. Much easier to transport them, pick them up. If I was to set that super low, we'll just have them flying out. In fact, at the end, what I might do is just see what the lowest figure you can have is, and then we'll see them come flying out the back. You can only change it when it's empty, and this is going to be difficult, because it immediately goes onto a new bale. Right, <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, so if we change that by pressing K, might have to unload it first. Right. Oh, okay, so with the bale variable bell capacity mod installed, 1500 is actually the lowest. There's really not much in a standard conventional bale. Shame. I was hoping to set it to like 15 or something. 15 litres. Would have about a bazillion... Okay, there, there goes me with my exaggerations again. Would have uh, maybe 100 from this very small swath. There we go. And it leaves some in there for next time. If indeed there is a next time. I have no idea when Sandy Bay is going to be released, so I just don't know when we're going to be transferring. But from what I last heard, it was like a month or... well, a month. Months to two months, but I, I really don't know. It's like saying, how long is a piece of string? It could be released in a week. Or in three months. I know that a lot of modders like to say it's ready when it's ready, which is a fair enough approach. Uh, anyway, yep, yeah, there we go. We've seen the autonomous tractor, which was uh, very interesting. I'm actually going to be using that again very soon. There it is. Yeah. I think it would be nice to use that really for any kind of course play work. It just makes more sense. And yeah, really, that's our new field, replacing the other one. Nice and different, and it's boosted our money as well, the profit from the other field. So we now have £78,000 to spend on something else. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.